evening, welcome back to MGM Motors for some more product reviews. Hope you're sitting down and comfortable for your Friday night viewing. I'm hoping it's becoming weekly viewing for you, otherwise why the hell are we bothering? We are we are still yeah we are still limited as to what we can do. So today's product is probably the last but one product we're going to review. It's two in one really, and I've got to do all the talking here because it was me that was on the machine. So you know we, we will have some content of me <laughs> showing Graham how to use the machine and and, and whatnot. But uh, yeah, it was me that did all the polishing on this one. I've only ever used one polish for my machine polisher, so I've only actually polished three, four cars. four cars. So the first car I polished was a, a Fiesta from 2009, a black Fiesta, and that came that up really, came really well. well. Um, and that was my, my sister-in-law's car that she's still got that will probably be coming back to be done because it was done two, maybe three years ago. Not long moving now, it's the first time you moved now. Wasn't it? it was either first or, or second, but that was the first car I did. Second car I did was my wife's, was her Evoke that's now gone. And that was, that was a, a bit of a shame really because I only had to do that because Jaguar Land Rover, Guy Sam and Coventry dealers were a bunch of scoundrels. They flogged the Lifeshine product, slapped it on the car and didn't prep the car before. So the car had all this protection on it and, and a load of swirls underneath. underneath and the paint looked horrendous when the sun hit it. But ultimately we're here to talk about polishes I use. So that car, we'd had it for two years, I deliberately left it for that because that's how long the coating was supposed to last and then machined the car. And to be fair, that car came up really yeah, well. Come up really and well. that was one I was- always call it the dark gray with a black car. Horace gray, yeah, black roof, really black pack car. And I was really nervous about doing it. And again, you've heard his name before, LA Detailing came over and he actually did the decon wash for me mm. and spent a bit of time showing me, give me some tips on, on, the, on how to do it. And it came up really well. Yeah. As I've always said, I'm sure he'd go over it and pull it apart and find loads of bits that I didn't do, but for my standards and what I was able to achieve, I was really happy with it. I've only ever used these polishes, and I bought my polisher in 2018 at Waxstock, in, um, which is at the Rico Avenue in Coventry, and I bought it there with Foxtail Detail, who's another detailer I know who looked after my Audi, looked, he's looked after a few cars for me, but at the time wasn't able to do ceramics, he now is, so... I'm sure we will have conversations over things in, in the future. Lovely guy. If you're over the Leicester way, top, top bloke for, for any work you need doing. But he recommended, he got me the, he didn't get me, but he told me that's six, that's a good starter polisher, buy that one. So I bought that one and his recommendation was the heavy cut Kosh Chemi and the fine cut Kosh Chemi. As I say, I did the Fiesta, I did the Evoke, and I've done the Clio twice with these, and I've just about just run, out run out, and I've, I've just had to buy new. And I've bought the same again. And part of that is, I guess, fear of the unknown, mm -hmm. and not knowing what other polishes are out there for machining, because I won't want something too aggressive that mars the paint or, or doesn't get rid of holograms. And I think this one does a good job of looking after you, if you like. But again, I spoke to Lee and said, right, what should I buy? I'm running out, what should I buy? And guess what was in his unit? The big bottles of this, not the little 250s, the litre bottles of it. I wasn't going to spend that much because I don't use it often enough. But, you know, he said that's all he uses, the same as I've got there, you know. I think those are the polishes he uses. He said stick to them. So I bought them again. Pad wise, now, pads is something I'm, I'm still learning about what pads to use. Um, and I've got sort of a light, a Lakeland pad, the orange one, which was a a light cut and the green one, which was the finishing cut, uh, which we used on the Clio. Now I think I'm probably gonna need to buy another Maybe. one, what well, I think a heavy, right. for my dad's car. Oh God, we'll you'll need a heavy, you'll need a um, belt sander. It, well, it <laughs> looks like someone's taken a belt sander to the bonnet, yeah. or someone's been ice skating on the bonnet. But I think that underneath, we could potentially get, get back to metal. somewhere half decent. Uh, well, yeah, probably bare metal, but, but ultimately, I affectionately know this car as the battle bus, this, this Saab 93 that we'll be doing. And I've been very fortunate in that whenever I need to do a tip run or to lug something big and heavy around, I can just go, Dad, can I borrow the car? And he, he kindly lets me have it. And it's a 93 estate. And it's, do you know what? It's a lovely car. It is. It is, you know, it's a, it will come up really well, I'm sure. You know, yes, it's got battle scars on it. It's a 57, I think, 57, 58. 57. So, Shelby, 57, something like that. If we said it was a 57, it's, it's be 14 years old, 120,000 miles, 
and my dad won't mind me saying it's neglected in terms of maintenance wise always has its maintenance done always has its services and tires and whatever never neglected on that other than when he did forget the MOT but that, that we've all done that um, but neglected in terms of he certainly does not wash cars I think he actually came round was it New Year's Eve we were washing cars it was over the Christmas period he popped yeah, round or something didn't he New Year's Eve day before New Year's yeah Eve, and he, he was at we're out there washing the car you're mad you are and yeah. he just doesn't he doesn't get it he doesn't get the enjoyment which again fair enough I don't get the enjoyment of watching West Bromwich Albion but he does that every other week so uh, you know clearly I watch a, a worse a team than that but <laughs> but ultimately you know we enjoy doing it and I do think that will make some great content I yeah, really, well. really think that car will polish up well and uh, you know, we, we may get two polishers on that one yeah. potentially we've talked about. So, but know, obviously the, but pro the, product the product itself. I don't think I'll deviate from that unless someone like Lee says, Matt, this is game changing, go to this. Well, obviously, Matt's talked about Lee and Foxdale details. We both watch YouTube. I watch Jim White, White's mm -hmm. details. He uses Koch Chem as well. And the reason I'm looking at the bottle is because this is a heavy cut, which is an 8.5. They've just bought out a new one, which is a 10. Well, it's I've even, got the nine. You've got the nine, which is which is what's coming. Slightly older one, but then they bought out again. So they bought a ten, so they bought even heavier cut still. Mm -hmm. So, but if guys like Jim White are doing it and they charge five, eight, uh, ten grand, I don't, I don't know what he charges. Yeah, but some I know I've, that I've looked on his website, and some of them are expensive. Some of them are amazing as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, so watch, got, watch his stuff. You know, do set aside. It's, it's, some of his episodes are the same length as a feature length. Yeah, he, sort of he's thing, long. But. He's long. But if you're into detailing and you've got a spare hour, hour and a half, sit and watch. It's really interesting because he does go into the final yeah, detail. Yeah. He goes yeah. like nth degree. But if guys like that are using it, you're it's not going to go go far wrong. Absolutely. Um, well worth buying, guys. Well worth buying. So that's the polish and the polishing pads. Definite by Koch Chem. Koch Chem and the, the Lakeland pads for Lakeland the price they yeah. were. Again, uh, a lot of the guys, again, I think um, John from Auto, from, from Frenzy, Frenzy. he's used yeah. Lakelands. He's using Hex at the minute, but he's used Lakelands. I think the reason I bought the Lakeland, I talked to, I can't remember who it was I was talking to about the Hex pads, because loads of people use the Hex yeah. logic pads. But I think uh, whoever it was I was talking to, Said that sometimes because of their cutting the foam, they, they they can be they you know there's a bit of an art to them as well. Yeah. Um, Plus they'll hold more product because it's not a flat surface. Yeah. So so you know the Lakeland is what Lee was using yeah. and what he suggested. And to be fair, they've done a great job. They've done a great job. I've got two pads. I'll probably buy a, a more aggressive and probably a, a, a further finishing one because yeah, yeah. on you know there are going to be certain cars that come to this channel. Yours being one of them. That I wouldn't be happy with the finish I got no, clear. I, yeah, I want to chase. I want yeah. to chase a better number yeah, on that. Because when you when you're machining, when you're refining, what you're looking for is a percentage correction rate. So what you'll often hear if you talk to a detailer about having an enhancement detail is that they're looking for an eighty percent correction. So eighty percent of the defects being removed from the paint. We're not chasing anything like that. We're just trying to look, make it look make half it look decent, good good certainly on the clear. Can. But when it does come to the the, the F thirty or three mm. series. I want to make that as good as we can. Yeah. If that's up on axle stands here for a couple of weeks, so, you're yeah. taking the clear. Yeah, Tough exactly. shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you'll be in the clear up, to, up, to, up and down the motorway, yeah. um, breaking your breaking your back every morning. But and annoying the neighbours. And annoying the neighbours. Yeah. But ultimately, I want to I want to have a real good go at yeah, that because definitely. I think we can really get that paint refined to a really good level. Yeah. So that's what we want to achieve with that. But yeah, Koshchem polishes fantastic, and they do a real wide range as well. So you've not got to go. Heavy and fine. You could, you could go, go heavy, medium, fine. You can you, you could could literally do, step it. You could do a three one. or a four stage polish. Yeah, you really could. So you really could. It's well worth looking at. It's yeah. a great product range. Yeah. Again, we're using Koch Chem Snow Foam. And, and again, where did I? I actually ordered those off eBay this time. Um, there was a deal I found where I've got two new pads. Don't know what the pads are, but they came with it. So it's twenty nine, twenty nine pound for the for basically the the H nine. So it's slightly heavier one than yeah. that. And the M, I think it might be M three, but you know, a finishing, a finishing polish. So that's what we've what we've got, um, but coming. But uh, but yeah, ultimately, Slim's, Slim's stock, Slim's stock it, I know details stock it. Yeah, so it is widely widely. Yeah, I stocked. even think for you know, there's going to be people out there that use them. I think Alfred stock it. I couldn't see it when I was in there last weekend. Online, I think they sell it. Uh, okay. I think don't yeah. quote me, but I'm pretty yeah. sure they do. Yeah. Um, so, but, but yeah, yeah, real good product. So. Um, Buy it, use it. If you want a polisher, if you're starting out with that, I would highly recommend the Das V6. Yeah. I think how much you were looking looking them up to? How much yeah, they were? I was 90 quid? Yeah, IO Detail have got them in, £90. 
you know, they've got some even cheaper. Yeah. But like Matt says, it's a great starter starter machine. Ninety quid. If you're gonna do it, it's not what it's you know, it's not gonna break the bank. Yeah. But guys, thank you so so much for watching once again. We'll see you again soon. And remember, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Cheers guys.